Hi, I'm the Miserable Gamer, and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Uh, now, I used to play this a hell of a lot, um, and I got a little bit bored with it. Um, but now they've got the beta out, which um, introduces different things, such as the diff lock and um, multiple trailers as well. I don't know what point I'm going to get to multiple trailers, because uh, this I've, I think I've done one job in this profile. I've just basically started all over again and um yeah i've done the first job and i think this is the, the second job of the entire profile so i'm still um i'm still just doing quick jobs i haven't even got my own truck yet so anyway let's see how badly i screw this up So I used to play a hell of a lot. Yee, bit of break. Quite close to that barrier at the back there. How the hell do I get out of here? It's over there, isn't it? Over the ramp. So we've got to swing wide on this. Oh, at least they've increased the size of these ramps. They used to be sort of single lane things. Absolute nightmares. Now I have an SKRS shifter knob attached to my Logitech gear shifter. Um, I also have, I, you can't quite see it here, but it's I've got an all, um, a panel I made which has toggle switches for starting stuff off. Um, it's got uh, trailer connect, disconnect, beacons, hazards, um, the ability to lift the axles, the parking brake, the engine start, activate, and loads of other different. Um, which side of the road am I meant to be on the left? <laughs> Just goes to show how long it's been since I've played this. I used to play it a hell of a lot and it used to be just so smooth just jumping in and it's felt so natural you know um, so it's just been so long since I played it I mean it's literally been about a year I think If anyone's interested, I'm playing with a Porsche Turbo S Fanatec wheel and Club, Fanatec Club Sport pedals as well. Now, that I said, the new update out has introduced um, double trailers I think you can even have triples as well um, I've no idea how how this works whether you have to whether you can take multiple loads you know so you drop one trailer off drop another trailer off um, or whether it's just basically this load happens to have double trailers you know multiple split loads would be absolutely brilliant um, because you know you could do multiple drops, you know, then you drop off like one, you know, you drop off the back trailer and then drive on somewhere else and drop off the the main trailer, you know. I don't 
don't like this truck because it doesn't give me a, um, a big display of speed. I'm a Kenworth man myself. I love the old Kennys. In the early days of these truck sims, um, it's really hard because you just you earn, seem to earn so little, and you, your um, um, your XP goes up so slowly, you know. Um, and you, you know, the, what jobs you can do is limited, and everything. So, um, but then once you start getting some money, you can really start building up, and you start start employing the other drivers, and. and your money just starts rolling in and it gets to the point where you've got more money than you can do anything with, to be honest. Now all you can do is keep buying more garages excuse me, and um, buy more drivers, you know. I'm not running any mods on this. Um, this is just pure vanilla at the moment because of the beta. I don't know um, how fast am I going? Where's 30 on that? Uh, it's between 25 and 35. Okay. speed over there. Something I can actually read. Now my my original profile, which I've got somewhere, but um, I really just wanted to start again. Um, my original profile, I think I've covered it everywhere, you know, there's not there's not much I haven't been in my original profile. What I'm really waiting for is Pro Mods 2.2 to come out for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, that really enhances the game. I uh, just wish they'd bring something out like it for um, American Truck. But um, I think the problem is because they don't know where they're going with American Truck. I mean, at the rate they're bringing states out, I mean, the game will be defunct by the time they... they get every state out so unless they really start um, oops, wrong gear um, unless they really start up in their game with um, hey, 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 don't you do it don't you do it you stay in that lane I thought he was going to pull out on me then um, yeah, so unless they really start up in their game with um, developers and, and level designers and getting getting the levels out, um, I can't see them ever getting over to the East Coast or anything like that. Right, where are we going now? Straight over. Okay. Um, it's it's. Unfortunately, it's all down to money. I think with them, they um, they don't sell enough of the DLC to warrant getting in extra people. You know, I think they do get extra people in from time to time, but um, yeah, I just don't think they have the manpower to get the states out in any sort of speed. Now the SKRS knob, if you don't know what it is, it basically it's a real truck um, shifter knob which fits on top of 
your existing gear shifter and uh, it, it gives you uh, splits and ranges um, you've, you've got two switches on it um, so when you when you're splitting the gears you've got a you've got a flip switch and when you go through your range you've got a flip switch on the back just exactly like a real um, oh, I've got to change lanes uh, exactly like a real shifter a truck shifter by the way yeah not a car shifter didn't show you where we were going um it was just a fairly small trip we were going from just outside carson city and we're going around the corner to Truckee. um not very far at all I got the heavy haul DLC out. I think I've got that on here. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I have got it. I'll have to look. Now, see, I like American truck because um, everything's new. Um, you go to certain places in ETS2 and it looks dated, you know. Um, the quality of level designing has got incredibly brilliant. Uh, I mean, this looks fo almost photogenic, photo, photo realistic rather. Um, whereas you go into, as I said, you go into some older places in ETS2, and they just look a bit dated. You know, um, particularly like northern France, the, the original parts of northern France, Calais, around there, and sort of like Dover. Um, and parts of the UK, you know. Um, I do believe that ProMods has refreshed a lot of those areas to bring them in line. Um, and I think they've they've now gone into Wales and Ireland as well, um, as well as they've gone to the very north of Norway. They've done a lot of work up on those high peninsulas. Um, so I can't wait for Tutu to come out, um, and I'll be I'll be doing some videos on ETS2 Pro Mods Tutu. And what are we actually hauling at the moment? Uh, we are hauling sand, 41,000, 41 and a half thousand pounds of sand. So it's going to oh, keep on the road. So I can control all of that with the buttons across the top of my custom box. I do like my custom box. Yeah, where do we want to go? I've done one this one, I want the second one. You definitely feel the weight of the 41,000 pound behind you. You know, the brakes are very non-responsive. I just saw a truck appear down there. I thought they'd sorted all of that. Well, this is a beater anyway, but um, we're not in any area that um, what my buttons are. That's engine brake. I think that's truck brake. And those two are my retarder. Ah! Come on, let me up, let me up, let me up. Ah, so 
someone on the inside. Idiot. Ah, I don't want to go that way anyway. Ah! God damn it. Now parking's going to be fun because I li I have not done it in ages, and I've I've got a triple screen set up, but um, obviously for recording I can only record one screen at a time. So um, this feels very different because I'm used to sort of like wrap around panoramic scenes. So um, I'm having to turn my head to look in look in that mirror, whereas before I could just flip my eyes and see in that mirror. Um, So this is taking a bit of getting used to for me. Now as for levelling up, I tend to go for the ADR stuff first. Um, because I think they bring in the most money. Um, Three Casino Blackjack. Hey, Speedy Gonzalez. I'm my I'm my Eva Eva. The fastest track in the west. Now I know I said I was going to do one game at a time, and I was going to concentrate on one game. Um, but these, because these are pretty much never-ending, these will be little extra releases um, on top of the usual um, usual stuff that comes out. Um, so I'll still be keeping up with the usual games, um, still keeping on one at a time, but I will be releasing these games, uh, these videos, as and when I do them, basically. When I fancy, a, when, when I fancy hauling something, um, I'll record it for you guys and I'm gonna see how it tracks as well if nobody's watching it then I won't bother not that anybody watches any of my videos but uh, <laughs> uh, I will I will see how it tracks if anybody's picking it up at all uh, I know the um, YouTube is absolutely flooded with truck videos um, and it's, it's pretty much sort of like done to death But I'll see how it goes. See if it's worth it. I think even Squirrel is noticing that um, interest in these videos is going downhill for, for truck sim. The thing is, there's no way of making it interesting. I mean, he does his um, uh, this may contain nuts with his, his question, question and answer thing. Um, ah. Oh, you can bypass. That's new. That's new. They used to make you have to pull in every bloody time. And the noise, ow, that was um, a bit unnecessary. But now I can just drive past. Oh, it looks like they've already got something in there anyway. I've never seen anybody, any other trucks going in those way stations. remember what I've got set for um, parking options uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, background themes nice uh, fatigues in the traffic preferred job length yeah um, speeding wall track oh speeding warning that's new parking truck dialogue parking dialogue that's what I want Heavy cargo warning screen, yep, this is all new. Select, yep. Alright, that's it. So I've my my custom my custom panel I'm gonna have to change because they've brought in the um uh oh, we're off here. 
they brought in the um, diff lock and I don't have a um, I don't have a toggle switch for that I've got it mapped just to a um, a, a, a lesser used button uh, but I'd rather have it on a toggle if I can you stay there yeah, that's the Kennys that I like. These lights are going to grab me, aren't they? They're going to change just as I drive over. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I usually have a, DL, a, a mod uh, which gives you longer yellows. Because I think the yellows in this are too short. And there's a mod that just... Um, Truck low gear, I think that said. Um, yeah, so there's a mod out that's um, it's just called Longer Yellow Lights, I think, and it just um, just makes those yellow the yellows hang on just for a second or two more. Um, and the good thing about it is it just allows you to, um, you yeah, if you are approaching them and they change the yellow, it just gives you that extra time, really. To, um, to get through them. Wow, this is pretty. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention, I was looking at the scenery. I've got very satisfying, I've got these lovely um, toggle switches which have lights on the end and um, it all runs off an Arduino inside so it's all USB powered. So I don't know if there's a skill, you have to unlock a skill to allow you to um, um, to do the heavy horse. Oh, it's here. Here's my drop off. Put my hazards on. It is a while since I've done this. Nope. Stalled it. Why did I stall it? get to an angle where I can actually see the drop off. Nope, that's the wrong bloody way. No, I don't want to skip parking. I'm determined to get this fucker in. There it is. Got it. Mm, how did I put my headlights on? The headlight button doesn't seem to be mapped. I'll have to sort that out in a minute. So then we drop the trailer. Okay, so, excellent, right, bonus parking the trailer, and I'm on level two and a half. 
All right, so here we go. I go for... Which is the one I go for? Flammable, that's it. Because then that gets you fuels. And that's it. Right, okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know it's a little bit um, dry now, these Euro Truck videos um, and, and American Truck videos. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, uh, yeah, so hit the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy that and enable the notification with a little bell icon to make sure you get informed of new videos that I put out. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at miserable underscore gamer and on Facebook forward slash miserable gamer, all one word. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Is it worth me doing it? Let me know. It'd be great to hear from you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.